object of this particular video is to create busy time, mental activity, puzzle solving, and make sure it's fun for your dog. You want to use the box that's the right size for your dog. Don't start out too big. Don't start out too hard. Start out where the dog gets lots of fun out of it, lots of rewards, positive all the way around. Because if you don't, you're not gonna have a good foundation. Step one is choose a box appropriate for your dog's size and age. If you're starting with a puppy, let's keep it simple and easy. We don't want to frustrate the dog. So here's our box. And what we're going to do is put treats in the box, high value. And here's that chicken we talked about. So I'm gonna break up a bunch of pieces, throw them in there. Normally I do in the beginning, at least a half a dozen because when the dog gets it open, I want it to be so surprised and excited about what it found so that it wants to do this again. Just fold over the tabs. Now when you let go, it springs open. What I usually do is grease these down on both sides, all sides. Okay. Just do that. And then we put that on the floor. Give it to the dog. Pretty much say go for it. And as the dog's going at it and sniffing, I'm gonna be saying, good, good job, great. Good, good job. Good. 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 So he's not afraid to put his head in there. Good boy. Good. Good. Yes. All right. So he likes that. That's good. Free. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, it's simple. She already knows to put her head in the box, but good things are happening. So you're gonna say, good. Good. Now, when your dog gets really good with just the open flaps, loose like we talked about, then I'm gonna start doing things like this. I'm gonna weave it over. It doesn't matter if they knock it over and pieces fall out here. That's okay. We want them to get that reward, especially in the beginning. We want to make it easy so they know it's in there. And you don't want to do it just once. You want to do it quite a few times. And if you want to keep the box, don't use it. So a lot of us in our current situations are doing a lot of online ordering. And this company in particular seems to use a lot of boxes. So let's put them to good use. This would be step two. Once you've done step one for a week and it's up to her if she wants to go over to the box. We're not gonna force the issue in any way. So great. Good girl, good, good girl, good girl, good job, good, good, good. Let's try the bigger box. So if your dog's sort of interested, take things slowly. If your dog's really gung-ho, then hey, let's go for it. So Freya is our professional box getter into her. So <clears throat> I'm going to weave this closed. And, this and Freya has done bigger boxes because she's a real go-getter kind of girl. But for the purposes of demonstration, we're going to use this size box. 
nothing fancy. It's even raised here on one side. That's okay. Freya, free. She walks away. What if I were to throw some more in there? Oh, find it. Good. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. So you can see this goes on and on and on, which is great. That's what you want. That gives you a good idea of what to do with some of your boxes. Again, size the box to the dog, size the height to the dog's ability as well. Um, notice here that these flaps are shorter than the sides the other thing you want to be aware of, do this when you're home, just in case your dog gets its head stuck or the collar does and it, it happens once in a while, but you want to be a good dog owner. Supervise just like you would with a toddler. We're ready. Free. So you can see how fast that went. She's very good at this and she thoroughly loves it. Get those boxes out, shape them up, and let your dog have a new toy.